What's up? What's poppin'? And what's Gucci? Today I have a special guest. My keto food. Got them devil eggs. Got me some keto hot dogs. I am finna feast while we watch this. All right, because I am back on my diet. I'm doing my intermittent fasting. So I'm going to eat a little lunch. You know, I did a little work this morning. Oh, my God. I sound so, like, professional. I got this sent in. This woman is using a saw, a sock as her pad. Okay. You know, don't know why that even is in her curricular. You feel me? Before we start this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow my other social medias. Let's get into it. Shine your light on me. Thanks, y'all, very, very much for coming out today. What the hell did I just walk into? Shine whose light? In what light? I hope it's the holy light. What is this? Okay. Goldie's, not, I mean, she's just about the tightest person I've ever met with money. When we're done with the show, I get paid. And then I disperse it to my bandmates. Here's yours. Here's yours. Okay. You still owe me for the mileage from last week when I was running around. It's $12.11. I always make sure that I deduct whatever monies are owed to me. As she should. As she should. God damn, that's bomb. As she should. As she should. I don't see a problem about her. Um, I don't see a problem with her asking for her money back. I don't see a problem with it, boy. Don't see a problem with it. She ain't doing nothing cheap to me right now. It looks pretty normal to me. Pretty normal to me. Pretty woke to me. This week she took almost everything I made. Here you go. Well, there's two bucks. You made two bucks. I drive my bandmates around a lot. Sometimes it's not for band duties. Sometimes it's just they need a ride. I think it's only fair that I charge them 56 cents a mile. I mean, yeah, she's not an Uber or nothing like that, but... You can just be like, yo, give me $20 in gas money and I'll take you somewhere. You don't need to be charging 56, 50 cents a mile so when they do get paid, you take it off. I like that kind of little, I would cut you off right then and there. I'd be like, mm mm. That little boot to me right there. That little boot to me. Every van expense, Goldie estimates she saves an average of $725 a month. You know who she looks like right now? She looks like an older version of the future JoJo Siwa. Now, the JoJo Siwa fans do not come after me. Mm. Mm. But you know damn well. JoJo about 18 years old rocking a bow and some pimped out diamond stiletto jacket, pink pants, yellow shirt with striped skirt like it's 2005 and her name is Ashley Tisdale. A mess. There's always mismatched socks left behind. So now I just keep a basket and we keep them for Goldie. JoJo Siwa! This is her! Women spend two or three hundred dollars easily a year on feminine products. Easily. That's a scam. Again, how is it a scam? Two hundred three dollars. Two hundred to three hundred dollars a year? That's like twenty dollars a month? Ah! You're not saving any money with thought. I've been known to use them for sanitary napkins. This is when it gets, let me put my drink down. This is when it gets disgusting. This is when it hits that level of, but what the? People laugh when I say I, I use socks as sanitary pads. My way is way more cost effective. That is disgusting. You know how many funguses, um, 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 My mom over here texting me about listening to the radio. Just messed up my whole train of suit. But you know how many socks got bad bunnies and <clears throat> uh this this fungus all in it. You gonna put that where the cooter is? You gonna put that by your cooter? You're gonna put that sock by your cooter? Disgusting. Disgusting. Go home. Get out. Leave. Don't ever come back. This is so, you're nasty. It's environmentally friendly. It's the, not. I've known Goldie for about a year. 
I'm gonna just put those in there. Not I guess. Her. She is always throw her clothes in there at the same time, but it's just a little ghetto. It's a little weird. <laughs> Asian Jojo Siwa lady is ghetto. You have no choice but to stand. Being in a band is expensive. Rehearsal studios, guitar strings, instruments. So back when I was a starving artist and when I was trying to break in. Break into what? You're performing at club, nightclubs. Starving artist. Girl, you do act like you are a starving artist. What's changed? A 2,500 square foot home in Nashville costs around $300,000. But for Goldie, there had to be cheaper options. I live in an old hospital that I just renovated myself. Okay. All right. Goldie spent $178,000 on a condemned clinic and spent nearly three years turning it into a livable space. So if a house costs 300K, let's get our calculators out! Let's get our calculators out, class! If a house costs 300K in Nina Nashville, Tennessee, and she spent $178,000 and then renovated it it probably came close to the amount of $300,000. I'm thinking in my head she probably has dropped all together, including the house, $265,000. Because renovating a place, a hospital, it's not cheap. It's not a form of a cheap matter. So, excuse you, leave me. You did not win that. You look stupid. This is my living room, and this is where I do all my entertaining. I have my friends over. Every piece of furniture that you see in this room, I either got out of the garbage or a thrift store. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave. I don't feel welcomed. I don't feel welcomed. I don't feel welcomed. I don't. That is very disgusting. I'm gonna leave. I'll close the door. I'm gonna leave. To renovate it and make it a livable space, I know it would have been over 75 grand. I did it for under 10. You did that over, girl, your house is not safe. You sleep on, you walk in and it'll go, it will cave in. Electricity alone, when people start plugging in all of this stuff, it's been crazy. I'm not having the band practice at my house anymore. I know my bandmates would just probably prefer to just go pay for a space, call it a day, I don't see the need. I heard of vocal cords. They're not that good. You can do better. Um, it's Nashville. There's a 17 year old girl that wants to be famous. Put that on Craigslist. Somebody will make it happen. Can we at least turn the air on? No, no. You know, hey, stop. You know the rules. Can we at least roll a window down? No, you can't roll the window down, Brandon. A band would probably prefer to be cruising down the highway with the windows down. That makes the gas mileage even less. So you disgust me. We're in Music City, USA, and quality rehearsal spaces are anywhere from $100 to $200 an hour to practice. I'm not going to pay that. I'm going to find any place and every place that I can to practice in it for free. And you're not going to pay it, and that's why your career is not doing right. Because you don't want to put the work in, you don't want to put the money in to have a successful career. And that's why you look like, that's why you're like, that's just, that's why your career sucks. No offense. 
That's not a root. No. That's why your career is not more bigger than what it is. What is she doing? What is this? I don't care what anybody thinks about my cheap, penny-pinching ways. All right. So I just got done eating my lunch. And we just got done watching this horrendous, ugly video. Hope you guys enjoy it. I enjoyed watching it and making it. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to follow my other social medias. What's up? What's poppin'? What's Gucci? We out of here.